He is uh, running in Congressional District 6. But Tyler also has a special initiative. Right, Tyler, you're going to talk to us about that. How you doing? Yeah, thanks for being here on No More Fools. Here, let's turn your audio on so everybody can actually hear you talk. It would be, be helpful. I guarantee it's going to increase your chances of winning. So, um, Tyler, you're running a congressional district six. You're a progressive. Um, you're the the listing that we have on you is pro party. Is that a party designation or just uh, no party preference for you? What does that mean? I should say progressive party. Progressive uh, the party. Washington okay. State actually has a progressive party uh, founded on the original progressive party and through the actually through the Bernie you know came about through the Bernie Sanders campaign for mayor of Burlington and oh, nice. long story. But it's the progressive party that's awesome okay well it's just the abbreviation i wasn't aware of, of that it existed up there but that's really cool that's really yeah. cool um so that's a nice party that tells me what we need to know bernie kratt uh, and you are a member of the washington bernie kratts one of the one of the the in, you're involved with the organization right absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. you it, it just i just gotta break i know we're supposed to talk about like specific stuff but everybody this man has a pirate ship just going to let you know. And if you help him get it ready to go, we could use it in Washington for protests, for live streams, for all sorts of fun stuff. I just want to yeah. that up. Yeah, we could talk about the ship a bit. I mean, that'd probably be appropriate on this. Uh, I'll, I'll let you lead, but... Sure, you know, yeah, we could talk. we got a few minutes, but first of all, why did you decide to run in Congressional District 6? Uh, well, that's a long story, too. Um, you know, when I, when I started... What is the Washington Bernie Kratz Coalition? It was originally an anti superdelegate campaign, and we challenged all of the elected superdelegates in the state of Washington. Uh, and at the time, Derek Kilmer, the incumbent, uh, a superdelegate who had pledged his vote to Hillary and, and was about to and did uh, rig the primary against the people, uh, was looked like he was going to go unchallenged, and that was unacceptable in my eyes. So I said, okay, somebody's got to do it. I got to do it. And so I did that and, and rounded up a bunch of other people who were challenging all of the other superdelegates in the state, and we became what is now the Washington Bernie Kratz Coalition. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. I didn't realize that you had been part of founding the, the whole organization. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. I mean, thank you. What a huge group. I mean, you guys have really done a lot up there, um, along with the, the power women in your group that we're aware of. Totally. And, and uh, one of them coming up next, actually. Um, yeah. But uh, so let's talk about, I, I know you, I, I want to read this from your slides. I've just got these slides. So let, me, let me pull this up here. It says, my platform in an extremely small nutshell, everybody, and this, I'm just going to read this. This is going to cover really the purpose, the, 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 the focus of your campaign. And, and it's, it, it's article the first, which is listed second. But then down here at the bottom, we have, uh, you're going to beat Kilmer uh, or Larson at the polls. I want to beat them in court. Uh, Laverne versus U.S. House of Representatives has the potential to put we the people in the driver's seat. What does that mean? What is this uh, article the first? Right. So this is the reason I am running. I, you know, I'd, I'd rather crawl under a rock than run for office. <laughs> nice. I, I have no interest whatsoever, except for that it needs to be done. And um, originally, back in, in the early days, we had just won the War of Independence and people were trying to figure out what was going on. There were 12 amendments uh, presented to the American people. Ten of them came out uh, as the Bill of Rights. But the first one and the most important one was ratified but was never enacted and for very good reason and that it was designed to keep the people's place in the government uh sovereign and there forever and they knew that if they didn't do that that things would get bad real fast and we would get stuck with oligarchy or aristocracy and uh and it was never enacted and we got that that's exactly what happened the people have no voice in the government our system is based on checks and balances and the people's voice was the great check and balance for example to the president the house has sole and power of impeachment the house of representatives was the people's voice where we would be able to put a check on the ballot on the president lacking that check entirely is what we have now and it's absolute madness at the top as i don't need to go any farther into that other than to say that we need to fix that so the original first amendment aka the constitutional proportionment amendment if you want to google it aka article the first was specifically designed for that for we the people to have a voice in the government and it stated when it was finally hashed out which took some time and you know and there was a war and the library of congress gets burnt down all kinds of stuff happened it what it, it basically in a nutshell said that we would have throughout history 
one representative federally for every 50,000 persons. Right now we have one for every, uh, it's between five and 700,000, uh, which is crazy because you can't represent 700,000 people. It's just not possible. And the forefathers knew that. And, you know, they had all their flaws and there was all kinds of problems, but they did really realize that the people needed a voice in the government. And this came about in this huge debate, including slavery, including states' rights, and all, all these very, very complex questions in, the, in this concept of representation. And Article the First, uh, the constitutional apportionment amendment, and uh, they, to to bring it all the way forward to the present moment, Eugene versus the U.S. House of Representatives is a court case that will go all the way to the Supreme Court, bringing to light the fact that we do now have crystal clear evidence that this amendment was ratified and is the supreme law of the land. Not that it could be. It, that it is. It actually is the supreme law of the land. And if you can imagine what would happen if we, the people, actually, uh, and I, on, a, on a systemic governmental level, actually did realize this, actually did promulgate this amendment, it would multiply the House of Representatives by a factor of eight or ten. And suddenly, all those seats would be open, and a supermajority of the people would be possible in the House of Representatives. That is no small thing. That means if it's time for Trump to go, it's time for Trump to go, period. If it's time for Pence to go, it's time for Pence to go, period. I time get it. Paul Ryan. Law, yeah, okay. You've so been I'm, talking. I'm so you've been, no, 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 but I just want to say, so you've been talking about this a while, you know, because we've, we've talked to you on uh, before on other shows you've run. Uh, right, right, yeah. And I want to say, I was thinking of the one, like, like outside of the can this be accomplished, right, if, if you win and push it forward and we get enough people behind it, it's a huge, momentous change. Besides all of that, I was figuring out the, the real issue is that we don't have enough people that would be willing to take those roles in government. That's the re right now we don't because not enough. I mean, y y we'd have to offer pay for every single one of them. You know what I mean? I th but it's a it's a fast it's an awesome concept and it's amazing that this exists and, and if I can just distill it down for everybody basically everybody in our constitution right now it says we're supposed to have a hell of a lot more people representing a lot smaller groups of people than we currently do right okay and and you can hear all the issues well are we gonna pay for it and blah, 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 blah. you know it would it would go on but the fact that you're taking on is 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 courageous uh, and and I, I appreciate you doing that thank you so much for running. Absolutely. Is it where? So where? Uh, you are campaigning. You're campaigning on this. Uh, uh, but tell everybody where they can find you next. Where you're going to be? Oh, uh, well, the next big thing, uh, and the one that I want to draw attention to, uh, is in May sixth in Tacoma. Uh, Tacoma happens to uh, touch four of these, uh, four of these different congressional districts. So Sarah and Robert and myself and Tambourine, who you'll speak to hear from next, all have. Um, some some representation in Tacoma, and there's this uh, planned march on the sixth that's all about Medicare for uh, for all, universal health care, which for all of us is either the top one or top two. Um, I mean, it's hard to classify, but it is one of our, our core issues, and so that's that's the big one. That's the one where we would we're really hoping everybody will come out, and this you know Tacoma being a core a core population center in four districts where we have strong progressives running it's really a place where where the where the energy and a and a critical mass so to speak could make a massive difference and so may 6th um this is being i think spearheaded by the um, red berets for medicare and you'll find it all over the internet it's the the march for medicare Awesome, awesome, awesome. I appreciate that. Thanks for letting everybody know uh, where you're going to be. Where? How can people help you? What's your website uh, for donations and volunteers? Uh, TylerVega.com. Uh, if you know, I don't. I don't read. I'm kind of anti-campaign money in an unusual way. I, I don't believe people should have to pay money to run for office, and so I want signatures. I want. I would like you know a couple thousand signatures rather than a filing fee. So there's That's a awesome. link to that on my website, TylerVega.com. I also have a link to the ship fundraiser. Right. Um, you know, I, I I want to donate the ship to the movement. If I can, you know, I I owe money on it, so I can't just drop it. But if I can figure out a way to the crew and the skipper and and the you know the funds are there. Um, I want to see this thing become the HQ for this movement and be floating outside that LNG plant in Tacoma with a giant banner saying "Stop this thing," uh, with you know with a thousand kayaks all around it, making sure that it actually does get stopped. And you know, Absolutely. And something like a pirate radio station and you know John yourself below deck running doing ah. this from there. It's well, all, and, all, all the stuff of dreams to me. You know. On that note. 
if we and, and if you want to help Tyler with his campaign on Article the First and, and and any of this stuff, you have a good chance of being a, a crew member on the boat. I mean, that's that's what we're talking about here. Um, not too many campaigns have that to offer. And uh, yes, we would send the live view solo. Uh, I've already if, if we can get this thing going, I've already got plans to do a full live stream uh, from the boat if we can uh, get it all together. I'd love to do that, cool. and we definitely yeah, have the the tech. So yeah, I just want to point out to everybody that Derek Kilmer. No relation to Val, I'm guessing, is the incumbent, right? Is this at the slide we have here, the fool that we'd like to replace regardless? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call him a fool. He's incredibly intelligent, and I'm sure he's a good man. But, um, no, he, you know, he sold us out. and um, He did and foolish things. We're not, we're not some, commenting yeah. on any of their brains, just that they did foolish things. Right? Yeah, and, and took us for fools is the real issue. That's what's so upsetting about it all. There you um, go. There you go. Yeah. Another way to put it. Uh, we're waiting. Uh, thank you so much, Tyler Vega for running thank you appreciate you being in here and we'll be right back